Hi, welcome to part six. It's turning into an epic. It shows how bad a modeler I am. Okay, I've decided how I'm going to tackle this. Um, so it's a couple of t tessellations there. And now I'm going to ring across this arch. So, however, this end here there is something quite dramatically wrong. So rather than undertake the next process with that selected, I've decided that I need to tackle this bit independent of this bit. So to achieve that end, I go for free tessellation and take the third icon down, which is tessellate by slice. And that has enabled me to take a tessellation right across the arch. What I intend to do now is to introduce my internal ceiling, which has been hiding down here all the time. If I turn that on and off, you can see where it is. Now what I've got to do is to move this tessellation halfway between this, which is the intersection between the roof here and the internal wall, and that's what's causing the T section and the bottom here of my internal ceiling. So if I select both and that and then select that and loop it and then zoom in, God willing, if I can find my tool, there it is, I can move this up to roughly there and validate. And there's my tessellation nestling halfway between, join at the roof and the wall and the bottom of the ceiling. So that one and that one, I could very well, at a later stage, I might decide to target well the top of the wall as it's going to be to the bottom of the s ceiling. I've not yet made my mind up on that point, to be perfectly honest. Right, what I intend to do now is to select that top polygon and that top polygon and loop it across <coughs> the arch thus. This bit here, if you remember, I've got to tackle separately. Having selected that, I'm now going to delete that row of polygons. So, so I've got the inside wall and the outside wall. Whoops. <coughs> and now if I do a non-manifold edge check, 
is clear across here. Of course, it isn't clear here because I've yet to tackle it. Right, phase two of this exercise, as you know, we've just completed this phase and now we're going to complete Hello. What have we here? If I twist this slightly, can you see that that polygon is flickering? What this signifies is that yours truly has positioned two polygons that one and that one so that they occupy the same space you can always tell because it flickers slightly like a moray pattern so the way to overcome that is to delete one and I should delete that Right. Oh, oh, oh. Rephrase that. With great skill and dexterity, yours truly, idiot child, Mark 1, has successfully placed three polygons so that they occupy the same space. Shh, shh. Thank you. So we're now left. I'll just give this a wriggle to make sure I haven't put a fourth one there. No, thank goodness. So what are we going to do now? is to join that to there and position it at the tip of that polygon. You don't have to validate. By selecting a, another tool it should automatically do it for you, but it doesn't always work. So I've now selected that polygon at the top, which I've deleted. Now we'll run a little check by just checking again. Aha! We still got not manifold down here. That's very strange. Hmm. I'm going to select those and ah. Right, I need to delete those polys because they're not right. 